In our last episode, we discussed that little mishap at work. This week, we'll talk about how to find a new job in Silicon Valley. Some of the themes I've encountered this week are crime, drug addiction, homelessness, the fact that large percentages of the population are blocked from entry into the global economy, and that was just me venting to my therapist. But the ultimate insult was the horror of Silicon Valley whiteboard interview techniques, which should have been outlawed with waterboarding as inhuman and degrading torture. I can only conclude that my AA degree in COBOL programming is no longer valued by the industry. As consumers Uber their way to the information age, my big dad is floppy and my refrigerator is smarter than I am. So I've been forced to change my strategy. First of all, I moved into a redwood tree, impelled by rising rents. Fortunately, in the information age, it is no longer necessary to own real estate. However, good Wi-Fi is essential. So with careful antenna placement, I've set up and my expenses are practically nil. The first thing you learn when living in a tree is your stuff can easily be stolen by other displaced members of society. For example, the heroin addicts that live in the tree in the next cul-de-sac. So it's obligatory to carry what's left of your stuff with you at all times, preferably in a stolen grocery cart. But since the Internet of Things, every cart has a GPS tracker and anti-lock brake system, making it next to impossible to take the damn thing out of the parking lot and back to your tree. So now I leave my stuff at the grocery store. Someone tries to steal it, the good people of the Safeway Corporation are well equipped to deal with it. So with my material needs provided for, I am now comfortably ensconced in my tree, taking a rigorous regimen of free online classes. This is the best way to advance your position in the information age. I've narrowed down my career choices to chest master, PhD in economics, or coal mining. She's predicted to make a big comeback in 2017. Turns out all that environmental protection stuff, complete nonsense. Fuck the Republicans.